Some good news tonight for drivers who received bad speeding tickets. Over the past school year, the Fox 5 I team revealed several spots in Metro Atlanta where automated traffic cameras ticketed thousands of drivers unfairly, citing them for speeding past schools. I team reporter Johnny Edwards has led that investigation and has encouraging news tonight for people who paid fines for something they did not do. If you received a bogus speeding ticket from Riverdale, the good news is you don't have to do anything. Depending on how you paid, you'll get a credit card refund or a check in the mail over the next four months. And more good news about another problem school zone we discovered. We're told the city of Atlanta will also automatically refund anyone ticketed unfairly on Memorial Drive. Hey, man. If you hadn't brought it to our attention, I don't know if we'd have called it. On school day after school day, these automated devices slapped people for speeding in a school zone, even though they weren't. It happened over the last two school years to drivers passing Riverdale High and Riverdale Middle Schools, with these blinking lights telling drivers when to slow down to 25. But the cameras cranking out tickets for that speed limit, both before the flashing lights started and after the lights stopped. Were you aware that they weren't working right? I didn't know they weren't working right. Like, I never saw the lights flashing. Candace Thompson, who lives nearby, hit with six tickets. Five of them when she wasn't going fast enough to be sighted. I had so many tickets on my account, it actually prevented me from renewing my car registration. But I had to pay $400 to get, like, my car registration. And I had no choice because I was going to have expired tags. Oh, there it goes. There it went. Nine o'clock. It happened during early mornings and on afternoons when school lets out with six different cameras ensnaring thousands of drivers. This month, Police Chief Todd Spivey meeting with camera contractor Redspeed and confirming the I-Team's findings. We established a, a, a number of citations that shouldn't have been issued based off the yellow signal timing and uh, there will be refunds issued. Total number of bad tickets written? The chief says more than 8,700. Total amount going back to taxpayers? More than $420,000. Thompson should get $650 of that. I'm very excited about that. Definitely, that's my money that I've worked very hard for, and they need to pay what they owe. Time discrepancies. The police chief also issuing a mea culpa saying the police department and red speed used one set of times for the cameras while clayton county transportation which sets the school zone flashers used another schedule we all thought we all had everything set up the right way what we weren't doing is going out into the field sitting there watching the yellow signals and making sure that they were going on and off exactly as indicated on those signs so what do you do if you received an unfair speeding ticket from an automated school zone speed camera? Well, nothing. Riverdale's police chief says that checks in the mail and credit card refunds will go out automatically over the next four months. And now the camera contractor for the city of Atlanta says they'll be doing the same thing for the thousands of people ticketed unfairly on Memorial Drive. Basically, I feel like I'm, I'm stuck in an administrative black hole. The refund process already frustrating David Malkin. Ticketed for going 39 and a 25 on Memorial Drive near Drew Charter School. His citation, one of nearly 4,500 issued unfairly, where another Fox 5 I-Team investigation found flashing school zone lights cutting off too early, misleading drivers like Malkin into exceeding the speed limit. Atlanta public schools in the city also announced refunds, providing an email address for questions, with Malkin sending emails, calling, even filling out a form. And then it's been crickets ever since. But camera contractor Vera Mobility telling the Fox 5 I team, Malkin and other drivers can rest easy, saying in a written statement, no action is required from those who are due a refund. The company saying it's already dismissed tickets issued in error, and for those who submitted payment, the city is issuing automatic refunds via check. 
When we last spoke to Riverdale Police Chief Spivey, he expressed possibly wanting to do away with the speed cameras. Now he says he still stands by the program and hopes drivers will do away with the cameras themselves by not speeding and taking profits down to zero. Chief Spivey also told us that any holds on vehicle registrations because of erroneous tickets will be lifted. And he says that when school starts back in August, he'll be checking the cameras and school zone flashers every week. Johnny Edwards, Fox 5 News.